Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how Databricks and Snowflake are different from each other. What are the differences between these two technologies? Because there have been a lot of articles around Databricks and Snowflake. You know, the Databricks performance is better than the Snowflake or the Snowflake performance is better than the Snowflake. So we keep on getting such kind of articles throughout. So let's see in the today's video how Databricks is actually different from Snowflake. But before moving on, do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel and follow me on LinkedIn and I will leave the link in the description box. So let's move ahead and see exactly what are the major differences between Databricks and Snowflake. So when I talk about Databricks, Databricks is nothing but it is a data lake house platform where, you know, your data engineering team, your AI team, your analytical team, they can all come together at one place. So it supports your data engineering workloads. It supports your AI and ML workloads. It also supports your analytical workloads. Now, this concept is completely different from the Snowflake because when we talk about Snowflake, Snowflake is nothing but it is a data warehouse. Snowflake is a data warehouse which is cloud based. So if you look at the basic functionality itself of Databricks and Snowflake, they actually seem to be pretty different. Now, when we have to choose between Databricks and Snowflake, you know, we kind of have to think what kind of workloads we would actually want, right? Is it the data warehouse workloads or they are the data lake house kind of workloads that we are looking into? So based on that, we can actually decide, you know, which technology to prefer. Similarly, when we talk about architecture part, right? Databricks has a typical Spark based polygot processing engine with Delta Lake. So basically, you know, you already know that Databricks is actually based on Spark, right? It has a Spark processing engine and you can actually work in Databricks from your SQL, R, your Scala and your Python, right? And it has the concept of the Delta Lake. But when you talk about Snowflake, Snowflake is basically, you know, the multi-clustered shared data architecture with separate storage and compute it has a separate storage and separate compute architecture i have made the video of both in my databricks and snowflake series so you can go ahead and watch that out so when you talk about the even the architecture part of it the databricks and snowflake they are completely different databricks is basically a data lake house which uses the concept of delta lake whereas when you talk about snowflake it is completely a multi-cluster data architecture which has your separate storage and separate compute also when you talk about the data types you know what kind of data you can actually process in databricks so in databricks you can actually process all types of data be it your structured be it your semi-structured or even your unstructured data but when you talk about snowflake you can only process you know your structured or semi-structured data types like your json so this becomes a major contrasting feature between both of the technologies so when you already know that your workloads have you know more of your unstructured data you would prefer databricks than snowflake in such cases similarly when you try to you know use databricks of course you do not have a vendor lock-in and when you try to use snowflake you are logged in by the vendor another major feature of databricks is that it has inbuilt support for the data science and machine learning but when you talk about snowflake data warehouse it requires additional tools like your snow spark api especially whenever you have to do any kind of machine learning processing on snowflake so one databricks it is specifically even when it started it was actually specifically start for your it was started for your machine learning workloads but snowflake on the other hand you will required third party tools like your snow spark especially to do any kind of data science or machine learning work on top of it and when you talk about the costs in this case basically databricks is again consumption based and even your snowflake is consumption based however databricks charges you based on the dbu compute time per second but when you talk about snowflake right snowflake charges you based on the runtime of virtual warehouses so in my videos i have already talked about what exactly each of these means right so i'm just here summarizing the differences between both of them so even snowflake is consumption based but 
the rate the charge basically depends on the runtime of your virtual data warehouse regardless of your load you know regardless of your load it depends on how long your virtual data data warehouse has been running and in fact your storage charge uh, is of course separate in case of snowflake so when you talk about databricks now since databricks is a platform where you can have you know your data engineers coming in your ai and ml people coming in even your you know if anybody wants to work around the sql analytics part of it they can also come in together at one platform so automatically what happens is databricks has a wider range of use cases in it ends up connecting to n number of sources and it automatically suffice is suffice for n number of use cases but when you talk about snowflake since it is a core data warehouse so whenever you have a data warehouse kind of requirement and you have a typical bi use cases in that case snowflakes actually is very helpful now similarly you know when you talk about the data breaks and snowflake scaling options which we have discussed in all of our previous video auto scale is there in the data breaks you kind of have to choose you get to choose the machines as well right whenever you choose a cluster you have in your own hands what type of machine you want to choose to run your workloads but in case of snowflake it is pretty simplified your machine your warehouses that you actually have to choose to run your workloads on they are very simply designed they are like xs x excel l so the double excel that is how they have defined their virtual data warehouses which you have to choose so scaling in that terms is pretty much simplified in terms of snowflake so these were the major differences between these two technologies i hope you like the video and you understood that both of these are actually very different of course there have been multiple articles claiming that databricks is better or snowflake is better that is actually not the case they actually serve a very different feature of course they have few points which are very common in both of them but still they are indeed a very different technologies they have to be used based on your use case so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like share and subscribe my channel